Julie Robb, for many, this green space where the Mets mansion used to be feels like a void here in the Blackstone neighborhood. But now plans are in the works to bring new residents to this lot near 37th and Dewey. The Mets mansion at 37th and Dewey up in flames, then frozen in time. Though now the site may rise from the ashes. The property one time, I thought it was a landmark for Omaha. Developer Larry Jensen had his eye on the Mets project. He hoped to redevelop the mansion itself. After the structure was demolished, Jensen says the opportunity arose to help build something new. I thought I would take that chance to um, create, another land, create another landmark for Omaha. The proposal includes 21 apartment units, and for Blackstone Neighborhood Association President Rhonda Stuberg, who lives in one of the area's infamous old homes herself. There's going to be the Juliet balconies. The developers have created something she's happy with. Finally, after about six months of, of talk and discussion, I think we've got what we were looking for now. So it should fit very nicely. Cecilia Coons lives next door to the site. I stood at the window upstairs all day long and uh, watched the firemen up on the roof. And it was just terrifying. She's pleased to see activity on the property, though she's concerned her new neighbors might be too close for comfort. Just hope they don't take this easement. Summit Wednesday's planning board meeting asked for more time. What we're asking for is, is another meeting. Ultimately, the planning board approved the redevelopment. And for Stuberg, it's the perfect balance of respecting Omaha's Gold Coast district. It envelops a lot of history within Omaha. But also bringing new life to this neighborhood for years to come. The plan now goes to the city council for approval and the developer hopes to have this entire project complete by next summer. Reporting live, Alexandra Stone, KETV Newswatch 7.